Hey dudes! Well, a lot of you are excited for Thunder God Sid or Orlando, so good luck to you, good luck in your draws if you're automatically going to draw for this regardless of the discussion, but let's get through these relics, shall we? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's like I've seen so much wailing today, which it's just like absolutely insane. Dean is going to get a fuckload of money, so Congrats to them, I guess, for making a pretty good game that people desire to wail on. Um, for me, this banner really isn't for me, but let's go through it anyway. So, first we have the Excalibur, Saintly Excalibur, which makes it even more better. Adds a Soul Break to Orlando, adds a small boost to Holy Damage, Synergy Bonus adds a small chance to instantly KO. I guess it gets rid of the mobs. One of the highest if not the highest attacking swords of the game. Deal massive physical, holy, and lightning damage to one target grant. Thunder God's Might! Temporarily reducing the delay of the user's action. How much, you say, is a third. So, pretty damn good. And you can also use Power Chain with Thunder God Sid, so you can actually do combos with that too. Uh, triggers after a long delay and can break the damage cap. Huge amount of damage. Nothing really more to say. A lot of combos you can use with this, especially with like full charge and stuff like that as well. So it's up to you if you really, really do want this weapon. It's definitely really good for combo chaining. Okay, next is his cloak. 17 attack average. Uh, deal 10 physical, holy, and dark attacks. Dark attacks? To random targets with a high chance to instantly KO them, which you don't really need. Raise the user's attack and defense of moderate amounts, which is pretty cool. And grant haste investment to the user's trigger after a long delay. All these attacks are triggering after a long delay, unfortunately, so you need to look out for that. If you're not chaining with his OSB, if you use his OSB first, I don't know what would be better, using his OSB first and then using this, because it's like, you can chain it with faster BSB commands. I guess you have to figure that out for yourself, but yeah, I'd say this is actually a pretty good combo as well. Deal 4 physical, holy, and non-elemental attacks to one target. Temporarily lower its attack and defense a small amount. I guess he would use his... I don't know, it's really hard to say. There's like advantages and disadvantages, because the disadvantage is obviously you would want more damage with his OSB, and the advantage is you can use debuffs with this, but then it would be a long delay, so you would kind of need a combo chain them both, or use power chain a hell of a lot. Deal 2, physical, hot, dark, and non-elemental attacks to one target, healing the user for a proportional... Okay, you'd probably almost never use that unless you're in trouble, so yeah, the first attack is pretty damn good. Excalibur, I guess it kind of reminds me of... um. Palette and Cecil's one, but with more abilities. Excalibur, this one a lot of people are chasing for, surprisingly. 131 attack, it is pretty damn strong because it is a uh, Holy Imperil, so if you didn't get the Holy Imperil from Beatrix and you want one, then maybe so you would want this one. Full range physical Holy attacks all targets, temporarily lower there. Holy resistance, grant haste and burst mode. Devotion blade, two physical Holy attacks on one target, raise the user's defense a very large amount, temporarily. Attract, black magic and physical attacks. Standard for like knights, I guess, like Beatrix and Gilgamesh. Faith's Blade. Deal two physical holy attacks on one target temporarily lower its uses resistance or whatever amounts. Pretty good. I like that. Uh so this is a shield. Minor fire, minor ice, minor lightning resistance. I guess it's something extra, right? Deal 7 physical, holy, and non-elemental attacks to one target. Temporarily infuse the user with the power of holy light. I guess it's a good follow-up here. It's always like the SSB follow-up to their BSB or OSB, which is like really weird. But I guess this also is good with Saint's Cross and stuff like that as well, which is... A commonly used ability with knights, so yeah, that's a really good thing. Lambent Hat. I think this came out before. 
Grant Protect and Shell to all allies automatically heal damage they take for a short... Just need to make sure it was a Super Soul Break. Maybe it didn't come out before. Maybe this is new. They take for a short time. So this is like... I'd say Yuna's, but this Protect and Shell is pretty damn good as well. I reckon it's... Yeah, pretty decent for a White Mage. I'd say it's like... Almost better or it's it's good to cast at the first turn because it's like you're saving the damage and it doesn't give you the medica straight up which is really really good so finally they give soul breaks like this which give instead of a medica they give you stock hp which is awesome so yeah that is really good this is her other first ssb which i already have restore a large amount of hp to all allies enable each ally to avoid one magic attack so that works really hand in hand with the hat like really really good so you would cast this first turn then later on use the healing stuff really good i like that mithril gun 118 attack five ranged physical attacks to all targets and temporarily lower their attack magic defense resistance and mind a moderate amount so it's like irvines which I have, yay. Irvine's is really good too. Synergy bonus adds a small chance to instant KO, you wouldn't be needing that. But hey, some stages, like I said, you may be unlucky and not hit all targets. Whereas Irvine, it's a full AoE, but of course it would probably have a lower multiplier. So, really, really good. I like this one. Luminous Robe, Haste and Mage Region to all allies. So, we've seeing these type of soul breaks back in the day i guess it's pretty good if you don't have any soul breaks but if you get this over and over again if you're wailing then i'd be sad kaiser shield again this is really decent this is just um Agarus's normal soul break but it does lower attack and magic a large amount to the enemy so yep stacks with all breakdowns you'll definitely use this if you don't have any of the other soul breaks really cool all right, let's do the 100 gem draw. I'm not gonna do any more than that because I did draw again on the other one. What is it called? Man, it's like 60 FPS. So smooth. The summoner relic draw, that's what I meant. I drew again like this morning as well because I'm just like, I hate everyone pulling on Thunder God Sid. I have to pull for something and then, yeah. I was like, uh, I did a couple for, well, I did three for the Summoner one again, and I got Garnet's Wedding Dress, which is really cool, because I'd never really focus on drawing on Garnet, like, ever, but I have, like, all her soul rakes, which is so funny. I get the same with, like, a few other characters of mine. What was the other one? Well, I've got on top of my head anyway. But anyway, guys, I'll upload... Well, we'll see. I was going to say I'll upload the Summoner Relic draw that I did with gems, but I don't know if that will already be out now. If it's not out now, then it will be out pretty soon. Alright, peace out guys. Good luck on your draws. And be careful about whaling. I know the feeling. You know, you've seen my Final Fantasy VIII event. You don't, you don't want to be like me. <laughs> Alright, see you later.